Um, and I just want to address some of the things that I felt were unfair, um, not handled properly. Um, because I, once again, the main message of this of this video, I'm, I'm not going to be silent. Um, I'm not going to be pressured into being silent because people have more fame or followers or money than I do. Um, my story deserves to be heard and um, to be frank, their podcast left out a lot of a lot of valuable details to what happened. Um, it made me it, it made it seem like it made it seem as if this was just this mutual understanding that we were gonna go our separate ways and re remake reconnect at some point. Um, and if you've watched their podcast, uh, you know I I I, I, wa I had just watched it earlier actually again for like the fourth time, <laughs> and. Um, you know, about like 30 minutes in, I think they start talking about, um, the situation that happened with me. Um, one thing that the first thing that really like caught my attention, honestly, I have a couple notes. Um, uh, I mean, Ethan just said something along the lines of, uh, that he was, he was putting his stress on, uh, everybody else around him and that, um, he was trying to like shape everybody into being like this version of themselves that he wanted them to be. Um, and he goes on to say that like he was, they go on, they both go on to say that they may be the problem, not the people that are, that are around them. Um, and I commend them on that. Okay. So we'll start with that. With that being said, um, putting your stress on somebody else was the reason that they kicked me out to begin with. So like, it just doesn't make sense to me that like, they accused me of putting all my stress on them. And then Ethan's like, well, I was putting all my stress on everybody else. Um, and one thing, one thing that I, however, like, so I commend them on this statement, but the one thing that I do want to say about this is that I, I was never being molded into a person that they wanted me to be. I, I, I was uh, their friend. You know, I was a, I was a brother at, at, at first. Um, it wasn't, there was no intention of me being molded into some character for their YouTube channel, um, even though these things were promised to me, like, and, and, and Grayson gets into that later in the podcast too. Um, I never intended to be molded by Ethan or Grayson. Uh, I am my own person. And for everybody that's saying, why are you starting a YouTube channel now? It's so obvious that you just want clout or you just want followers or you just want, the truth is that I have always had a passion for this um, since I was 14 years old. My life took me in a different direction and doors open at certain times for certain reasons. Um, unfortunately, the door that opened for me to get into YouTube um, and what really made me feel comfortable to start speaking my truth and making videos was an unfortunate circumstance um, that happened between two of my really good friends that I don't know if I can really consider them that um, at this point after a lot of thought. Um, so continuing on, um, Grayson, you know, he, he makes some statements uh, talking about um, how they took me out there without asking me, to, flew me to LA without asking me, and made a decision for me in my life, um, which, I mean, I guess it's kind of true, but it's also not. <laughs> like, I wanted to do this. I'm, I'm the one that was like, I'll get on, I, I want to come train you for a wrestling match. I want to come be a part of your podcast. And all of that things. I, I wanted all of that. Um, you know, Gray, Grayson made it seem like I, I didn't want to be a part of it, um, which isn't true. I always did. And so now we get into the juicy um, kind of details here. So at one point, Grayson says that um, he handled the first kicking out, quote unquote, I think, his were, were he, he says it, Grayson said that he handled the first kicking out in their deleted video when I got out of the shower, um, that he handled that too intense, too intensely, or something along those lines. He also claims that this clip was blown out of proportion for views, uh, which it, it wasn't. Um, this was a real situation that was caught on film that they chose to put out to the world. Um, and, you know, in their podcast, they claim that, you know, it was all good within 15 minutes. It was all good within 15 minutes. And 
it was it, it was at the time um, because you know I, I just I moved past it. I was like, okay, whatever. It was a it was a freak out. I I, uh, I understand that, um, but it really wasn't solved within 15 minutes because think you have to think about from my perspective how that makes me feel. You know, I just get here two days ago, and my two brothers just threatened to kick me out. Like I'm already starting to feel insecure in my place in their lives um, in the fact that I'm gonna even have a bedroom to sleep in in LA, which they said that I was going to have, that I could live with them. Um, so that, that, that started festering my insecurities the second day I was in LA. Um, and that is the reason why I didn't drop out of college. I had Ethan Grayson telling me to drop out of college, basically like, um, I mean, and it was like so pressured that I told them that I did just to get them to like leave me alone about, about it. Um, but I didn't because I foresaw something possibly like this happening after literally being there for two days and almost getting kicked out for sending two hearts to somebody who said, I love seeing you in the vlogs. Um, I don't think that's where I'm at. I still don't. So moving on, um, I mean, these mo these emotions like festered and I didn't really address them at first because I thought that Ethan and Grace were my best friends, my brothers, um, but it really made me feel crappy uh, inside. It fueled a lot of my anxiety, it fueled a lot of my mental, um, my feeling insignificant, my feeling disposable. Um, it ignited a lot of those things. Um, so moving on, uh, when you, this is just my opinion after knowing them for 15 years and I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this, whatever. I, I've known them longer than any person. I mean, I don't know. I've known them for a long time, 10 years, 15 years, whatever it's been. Um, I can read their emotions, I think. Um, and once again, call me crazy, but at one point, it seems like Ethan is controlling the narrative of the conversation. Um, and at one point in the, in the podcast, if you look at Grayson's face, he's just kind of sitting there like, just like looks a little defeated as Ethan's talking about the situation that happened. Um, it seems like Grayson knows that he's, he looks like, he looks like, almost, not guilty, I don't wanna say guilty, cause like they're not, I'm not like accusing them, I don't know, I don't wanna use the word guilty, but he looks, he looks like, he doesn't necessarily entirely agree with what Ethan's saying. Um, and that's just my opinion. Uh, it seems like Ethan kind of painted this narrative. Grayson went along with it. Um, and, and so, so that's, there, there's that. There's just, that's, that's just my hot take. Do with it what you will. Um, so then, uh, This is gonna lead me, this, this, this part of the podcast leads me into my biggest problem with what they said. Um, something, they said something, one of them, one of either, either Ethan or Grayson said something along the lines of um, that, we, that all of us came to a mutual decision that like, we needed space from one another, which is true. However, what they neglected to put in their video was the fact that the reason we came to this conclusion was because Grayson freaked out on me in the kitchen and kicked me out. He said, I can't live with him. I don't want to live with him. That sounds like being kicked out to me. I don't know how else to, how else to put that. I don't know how else, how, else to, how else to comprehend that besides you're not living with us anymore. Like those words were said. Um, so it, it's like they said nobody was kicked out. They, want, they said they wanted to make it clear that nobody was kicked out when that's just not true. I mean, it was like, after that conversation happened, I felt so uncomfortable that I didn't even want to live with them anymore. Like, I went back to my house in, in, in New Jersey, and that night, I was just like, I just, I just thought all night about what had just happened, and <laughs> I don't know. Um, I mean, and that, that just, that brings me to an, another, another point, that night, the night that, me and Grayson got into this heated argument um, in the kitchen after I went on a walk with a third party who Grayson flew out. Um, 
and he freaked out on me and said, you crossed the line, I've been over all this. Now, in their podcast, uh, they claim that, Gracie claims that we had some sort of emotional conversation in, in their mom's kitchen, or in their mom's house. Um, but he also says that his, he didn't raise his voice. Um, and then all of a sudden, Ethan jumps in and goes, no, 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 bro, you were calm the whole time, dude, you were calm the whole time. It's just, it's just like clear that they're trying to make it seem like they weren't aggressive. I mean, I, I, like, why, what do I have to lie about is my thing. Grayson saying, next time this happens, I'm throwing fists. I mean, it, 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 like, those words were spoken. I, I don't know how else to, I don't know how else to, um, and, and, and in my first video, everything was raw, it's unedited, it's, un, it's not cut. So, like, their, their podcast, you can clearly see where they omit certain parts where they don't want people to, to know what actually happened, where there's, there's cuts. Um, and, I mean, I'll agree with the fact that Grayson never did get physically aggressive. His voice was extraordinarily raised, um, and he threatened to get physically aggressive if something like this ever happened again in the future. Now, my whole thing is... Um, everyone that was in that room, Mondo, Grayson, Ethan, and the third party who I will not identify, they all know what happened. In fact, the third party that I will not identify um, was appalled by the behavior and made this clear to me that, that they had never seen someone be spoken to like that. Um, this third party even told me that they were going to go back home because they, they were disgusted. Um, I, it's, they all know, I mean, I, like, you know what I mean? Not like, and if, if the only reason that, sorry, I keep adjusting my AirPods, but the only reason that Mondo would not come out and say anything is because he's on payroll. He signed an NDA. Um, he is paid to make them look good. Um, so why would he take my side? I will say that he came up to me and gave me a big hug and said, bro, I'm not gonna let you fail. After me and Ethan and Grayson got in this huge argument, I was crying. Um, 